agree with us. There you go. Excellent. Look at this. This is this is like being in America, but we're in a, a Welsh traditional kind of 200 year old pub. Um, what have we got here, Nick? Yeah. Uh, you got two of our beers, O3 and Oxymora. Right, well, let's start with them. Yeah, that's the O3 so, boss. Okay. Nice kind of brown traditional look to this beer. Yeah. Very clear. Um, one thing your head is very white, it's a tight head. Um, I got a nose on this one. It smells nice and malty. It is, it's, it's very much a traditional bitter, it's our traditional kind of red chestnut bitter. That's okay. what that is. It's to fill that gap on the market where it's what people want. Some people just I still want a good want traditional it. bitter, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still enjoy a good traditional yeah. bitter. Yeah, it's not trying to be anything more clever than what it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. That's something you want on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Just, just Sometimes that's read just read the paper. Need, yeah. yeah, yeah. Give sort of okay. give this one a go. And yeah, yeah. It almost when you say chestnuts, it almost kind of got that kind of cherry. I'm picking up cherry in this beer. Uh, a lot of malt. Yeah. Again, it's not meant to be a big American style. No, not American at all. IPA. No. It's very, it's very much a British traditional yeah. bitter. Yeah. It's very thirst quenching. Yeah, it makes sense. It is. It's, again, it's, it's like the other ones. It's quite crisp. It's quite you know kind of easy to drink and yep. <laughs> easy to throw around throw, as well. Throw, throw on the sorry. <laughs> It's nice, very traditional, yeah. and again, very easy drinking. Yep, that's um, right. Now, this one is the kind of Oxy Black IPA we had in the bottle earlier. Yeah. But it's well worth you just trying it on on cast to on see cast. what the difference is. Right, let's get this up to the camera. It's it's black. It's almost mysterious looking. There's a velvety kind of off white creamy head going on with the beer and it's almost kind of suited to this third kind third pint glass type of it just looks like it, it suits this glass it's meant for business yeah yeah <laughs> let's get in let's get in plenty of a plenty of the hops there nice and kind of roasted malt going on as well i'm gonna have to dig into this yeah, one get stuck in Completely oh, different to the bottle version, oh, that isn't is it? Completely different. It's it's almost um, wow that that bitterness on the end. I was just I was just about to speak, and then the bitterness <laughs> kicked in on the end. Um, that is lovely. That is really nice. Mm. A lot of roasted malt. A yeah. lot of that kind of coffee and chocolate, caramel. That kind of caramel, caramel kind of kind of flavour. But up front, the hops, the hops are just phenomenal. It's, mm. it's all that American kind of Chinook. Um, Col and it, Columbus, the Galena, the Sriracha, yeah. the Citra. It's a fantastic kind of a battle and kind of a blend. It kind of mixes so well. Um, really enjoy that. There you go. Excellent. And this is um, a beer from Monty's Brewery, yeah. which is from Monty's, Mid yeah. Mid Wales. Monty's Moonrise. This is their Moonrise. Golden kind of wet. bronze, <laughs> wet. <laughs> I'd have to clean next floor after this. Uh, bronze looking beer. It's got a nose. Almost like a kind of, almost like a butterscotch to this one. Let's give it a taste. Nice zingy hops, malty, but again more on the traditional side I'd say with this one. I haven't, I haven't tried that one so yeah. I'll try my for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry to put you on the spot, the ABV on this one do you know? Uh, yeah it is 4%. So for 4% ABV it just fits well in the tray. I, I, I really like this idea of this 
what's the word for this next? It's a beer flight. A beer flight. Yeah. Obviously, it's very difficult to drink a pint of each beer when there's ten different casks on the bar. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to drink the ten. So this beer flight really does give you a nice option to try every single different beer. That's a that's a nice beer. It's very nice. Yeah. Um, Asx. It's Red Squirrel Brewery. Red Squirrel Brewery. This will be my first beer from the Red yeah. Squirrel Brewery. Yeah, it's three point eight percent. Yeah. Um, I don't know the style. I'm not, I'm not familiar with it. But I presume it's going to be a bit of the looks of it. It looks like a red sort. ale, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. it kind of looks like a red ale with a, with a nice white head. It's got a nose. Yes, it's nicely hot. Nice mixture of malts as well in there. Let's give it a try. Hint of toffee. Toffee, caramel, malt. And again, that, I like the condition of this beer. If you rock the beer back and forward, it's a nice kind of... The way the beer laces the glass is nice. Another good sessionable ale. I'm moving on to the last beer. Uh, you've got uh, Dorset Brewery Jurassic 4.2. Okay. And this one, another kind of really nice traditional sessionable ale. Pouring nice. on pale, I would say. Pale ale? Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, it's a nice kind of pale look about it, slightly golden, nice nice head. Very refreshing, very refreshing. Almost got that kind of lager malt taste to it. Very malty, slightly hoppy, but very refreshing. But. I'm going to leave this to the last moment because I often watch American beer reviews on my YouTube channel. I watch a lot of other people reviewing beers and they've always got these kind of wooden trays with the, the beers in. And I've always thought, oh, I'd love to try that, I'd love to give it a go. This is the first time I've kind of gone into this and it's, it's 15 miles away from my home. I've gone into this kind of the flight and I love it. I think it's a great idea. Really enjoyed this experience. Um, a first experience for me at the Bunch of Grapes in, in Pontypridd. If you're around the local area, they've always got a great selection of beers. Go and try it, give it a go. Otley beers and, as we see here, beers from around the country. Um, thanks for watching me. Thanks for watching my first ever flight of beers and cheers.